Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to share with you guys some really fun wood DIYs from the Dollar Tree. You don't want to miss this video, so let's get into it. So this first DIY, you'll need one of these wood hanging decor, wood rounds, and these wood rings. You get six in a pack. I used four packs of these and I had two left over. So if you can find these and you want to do something similar, here we go. If you can't find the wood rounds, I know they do sell inexpensive ones at Michael's, sometimes even Hobby Lobby. You can pick up some inexpensive ones. Obviously, they're going to be probably more than $1.25, but um, anyways. Those are some options for you if you cannot find the wood rounds from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did is I started out with one of those little holes because I did want to cover them. I'm just using some hot glue to glue these rings all the way around to make a cute little tray. All I did after I glued everything down is I just used some spray paint. I'm just using the ultra matte black spray paint and I wanted it black because it does fit my decor. But if you are a colorful person and you want to add some color to your your home grab that teal grab the purple grab whatever color you want spray paint it. I thought spray paint was just way easier than painting the entire thing with a paintbrush uh, if you don't like spray paint or it's way too hot like it is now uh, my spray painting abilities these days uh, are rare but anyways this is what it looks like when it's done I think this is super cute I love it and it only cost five dollars I picked up four of these little pen holders. These are in the stationary pen section and I'm just gonna be gluing them together. And once you do hot glue these, they're not gonna come apart without tearing it apart because I ended up uh, gluing these wrong. I wanted to do four in a row that I'm like, oh my gosh, I did this wrong. So, you know, push comes to shove. I chose to do something a little bit different. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to stack these. I think this would be a really cute piece if I stacked them and it still has the black and then it has that wood on the opposite sides. And then I did just end up later on taking a permanent marker. If you have a paint pen or something and coloring in the pens, because there was a little pens on the side that you could see. And I did not want that to show in my decor. So glue them all together. And then I decided to take some of those wood letters from Dollar Tree as well. And then I just spelled out the word farm. But if you can think of any four letter word, go for it. And I am just, do I feel like that when I look at farmhouse decor, it always goes from left to right. So depending on how you want to look at this, you could look at Fram, you could look at farm. I'm going to look at it the farm way. Maybe you won't after this, but I just glued those with some hot glue, added some greenery in, and that is all I did for this super quick and easy DIY. One, I'll be using some rub on transfers. I ended up using three of these, actually two full ones, and then I just trimmed off uh, some pieces on the third one. And then you just save that, use it for later. Don't throw it away just because you use a tiny bit. And then I am just using a thick crafter stick. Uh, these came with some nicer rub-on transfers I picked up off of Amazon and Dixie Bell, and these are amazing. If you don't have something like this, just use like a Cricut scraper, credit card, whatever works for you, it will work. Uh, these were a little bit more tough to pull off than normal, especially if you're using like a full piece of transfer. You never know like what part. Start at the top, work your way around. I just kind of go all over the place and just do it like 10 times and then I call it good. Uh, but I'm just going to be putting it on one of these wood pieces. I found these wood squares. They are nine by nine and they are from Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar twenty-five. Some people asked if I had a Dollar Tree Plus and I do not have a Dollar Tree Plus anywhere in my area. So uh, this was a dollar twenty-five, which I have not found these since. I wish I would have bought more because I've already used every single one I purchased. And then for the center of this, I'm just going to be adding this chicken in here. This is also from Dollar Tree. It's just one of their galvanized pieces. Kind of wish I would have painted it. Kind of blends in a little bit. But either way, I think this one turned out super cute.
Here is another one of those nine by nine wood square pieces and then a chalkboard mason jar, both from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna be grabbing some hot glue, gluing that mason jar in. This is one of the last times I used a Sherbonder glue gun. Like I disliked it in so many different ways. Uh, I actually just original or I just purchased a Gorilla glue gun and it is amazing. Highly recommend highly recommend. So many of you said, get the Gorilla Glue Guns. They work just as good as the glue sticks. And you're right. All right. So I glued that chalkboard mason jar down. And then I did have a galvanized heart. This is from a Valentine sign. And I just pulled it off because I wasn't using it. And then I just save a ton of things. Adding boxwood, lavender, and some bows. Here we go. That is all I did for this one. It's super easy. You didn't need anything special for this one. Uh, just some old Valentine decor. The next two DIYs are very similar. I'm using Dixie Bell silkscreen transfers. I love these things. I've used these so many different times, but honestly, it's great to use. You can give these away as gifts. And when you can use a transfer over and over again, I feel like you're really getting your money's worth. I have a couple of the same types of signs in different rooms of my home and no one's ever said anything. You can't tell, you don't know. And I just really love the way that when you pull this silk screen transfer off, the way it just looks so high end and so beautiful and so perfect and so clean. It literally looks like you purchased something from Hobby Lobby instead of made it yourself. And I love when I pull these off these Dixie Bell ones. They look so great. I love how it just has so much detail in these. I'm also using this, the farmer's market chicken one. This came in a three pack. I'm not sponsored in any way by Dixie Bell, uh, but I will link the products for you if you guys do want to check it out. I've just, I highly recommend anything by Dixie Bell from their paint to their transfers to their furniture rub on transfers. They all work great. Right now, I am just using the Choc Couture chalk paste. I have a ton of this, and I also love using Choc Couture, if you guys did not know. But anyways, these are the two signs that I did. This is what they look like when they're done and hung up. Super high end and very, very pretty. But you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.